parliamentary elections are very important for their own sake because we're electing the European Parliament and the European Parliament makes the laws alongside the, the Council, which are the ministers and the governments of the member states. So I'm not sure that the people uh, of Europe are always aware of just how powerful the European Parliament is. Uh, so I think it's very important, given the role of both the Parliament and the Council, that people do engage and do make their choices known and vote uh, for the European elections. Uh, they are being seen as important for democracy because, of course, of the rise of so-called populist parties in, in Europe, a lot of parties that are actually hostile to the EU, that are either Eurosceptics, sceptical about the EU, or who are hostile uh, towards the EU. Obviously, if there is a rise in support for populism, for populist leaders or for populist parties, that is going to have an impact on how the European Union is run. Um, so a lot of commentators are seeing that there's going to be a, a decline in the, in the centre, something which we witness in member states uh, anyway, and that the two big blocks, the European People's Party, which is the centre-right, and the Socialist Parties, which is the centre-left, won't have, won't retain their dominant position, and that they will need the support of others. Um, there is also speculation that the populist parties, who are not the same, I mean they have different... Uh, different visions, shall we say, depending on where they come from, depending on what country, what member state they come from, that they may become the fourth largest grouping within the European Parliament. So they won't run the Parliament, but obviously they will have quite significant influence in it. What you see about populist parties is not so much that they always come to power, but because they, if their vote increases in the country or within the EU or the Parliament or whatever, then the centre parties are influenced themselves. So even though they may not be directly influencing the laws, they certainly have indirect influence on them. So obviously, you know, these um, European elections are seen, as some people say, as existential, that, you know, there are crises in Europe and this is also part of, uh, this could be an existential crisis. But I think the whole history of Europe has been built on on crisis, this is just another one. We've witnessed quite a few over the last few years with the financial crisis, the crisis in relation to asylum seekers, migrants, the Brexit crisis and so on. And so far, as we say, the storm has been weathered. So this is just another challenge for the EU to attempt to surmount.